We have Draconic Descent. Okay, Draconic Descent, we have Furk Rag, Cunning Instigator. Whenever one or more dragons you control attack an opponent, go to hard creature that player controls. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, if that creature had to attack this combat, you put a plus one plus one counter on Furk Rag and you draw a card. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, So basically, you could if you go to many creatures, you can draw multiple cards and put multiple counters on your commander. I think that's cool. We'll see what the... I like dragons. Dragons are my favorite creature type, so that's always fun. So uh, let's see what we got here. We have a Sprite Dragon, Agitator Ant. We got a... Bothersome. Yeah. This is a new card. Go to creatures your opponent's control can't block. Okay. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, go target creature and opponent. <gasps> Guys, this card is amazing. Guys, I need this card. This card is great. This card is so cool. I have a I have a goad commander deck that is literally this is everything inside that deck. This this one card literally makes that deck so much better. It's actually unbelievable how good and amazing this card is right now. Wow, I'm so happy this exists. Thank you, wizards. Thank you. Next card is Burnish Heart, Chaos Dragon, Goblin Spy Master, Mocking Doppelganger. You may have this enter the battle if it's a copy of a creature and opponent controls, except it has other creatures with the same name <laughs> as this creature are goaded. That's so fun. Oh, dude, I gotta buy this commander deck, guys. This deck is... It's literally in the same colors as the other deck that I built, too. It's so perfect. Sly Instigator, that's inside that deck. Uh, until your next turn, target creature point controls can't be blocked. Goad that creature. Cool. Solemn Simulacrum, Territoria Hellkite. Vengeful Ancestor, ooh, what is that, Baloth? Reaches your opponent's control with power less than Baloth's power are goaded. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, this deck seems incredibly fun. Whenever a goaded, or t whenever a goaded attacking or blocking creature dies, you can trade a treasure token. Oh. That's interesting. That's a cool card. Brash Taunter, yep. Guys, this is almost exactly like the deck that I built. We have uh, Death's Kiss. Whenever a creature in opponent controls attacks one of your opponents, double its power until the end of turn. That's cool. Oh, dude, this deck is crazy good. Higa. I don't know if you really... I would take Higa out of the deck. Niv-Mizzet Perun. Why? I mean, why not? I guess. The Geode Rager is nice. Not the Geode Rager. I thought that was a different card. Div Mizzet, Ryusei. Okay. Steel Hellkite. Cool. Warmonger Hellkite. Okay. Angler Turtle. Creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able. Guys, I'm by this is the so far this is my favorite deck. Dracuseth, I would take this out of the deck. Um Pursued Whale. I would take this out of the deck. Um, Thunder Dragon, cool name. It's basically a board wipe. That's cool. Astral Dragon. When it enters the battlefield, create two tokens that are copies of target non-creature permanent, except there are three through dragons in addition to the other types that they have flying. Non-creature permanence. So if there are, dude, this card is kind of a bomb. What if I make Top two token copies that are copies of Grave Pact. This is eight mana. <laughs> Avatar of Slaughter. That's such a cool. That's a cool tattoo. Rowan Kenrith. Will Kenrith. Cool. Curse of the Swine. Spectacular Showdown. Put a double strike counter on target creature, then go to each creature that had a double strike counter put on it this way. And you can overload it for seven. Oof. That's a cool card. 
Okay, reaction, disrupt the quorum, of course. Dominating will, of course. Reigns of power. Aether Gale, Blasphemous Act. We have, um... You like this one too? Yo, thank you for liking the video, I just saw that. We got the Soul Ring, Wayfarer's Bauble, Signet, Bloodthirsty Blade. Guys, this deck so far, to me is, um, clan, what? Commander creatures you can you own have sacrifice an artifact, put a plus one plus one count on this creature and draw a card. That's cool. Propaganda. Dissipation. <laughs> okay. Loot dispute. Uh, when loot dispute enters the battlefield, you take the initiative and create a treasure token. Whenever you attack the player who has the initiative, create a treasure token. Whenever you complete a dungeon, are we uh, are we going in the dungeon inside this deck or something? Yeah, I would take this card out of the deck. I would put this in a deck where I'm venturing into the dungeon. I don't. This is the first card I've ever seen. I think, unless I'm misreading things, this is the first uh, card. In, that I saw that had anything to do with the dungeon inside this deck. So. But this deck has a ton of gold, guys. If I'm gonna honestly, like, out of. On a scale of 1 to 10, thank you for liking the video. I just saw that. You skipped Curse of Opulence. I mean. It is a good card. I mean, $14. Honestly, I have so many copies of Curse of Opulence that, like, I just. When I see it, I'm just like, but yeah, you're hundred percent right that it's a, that's definitely a good reprint, reprint, but my gut instinct, if I have to give this a, uh, thank you for liking the video. I just saw that if I had to give this a scale of one to 10, I would give this, this is an eight. I think this is an eight. I think that, I think that based on the way, like, what does this deck want to do? It wants people to, it wants you to go to opponent's creatures. And like, when you sit down at a table, there are ways to go to your opponent's creatures. There are ways to go to, thank you for liking the video. There are ways to go to multiple creatures every turn, which is only going to get Perk Rag a lot stronger, a lot faster. And not to men, not to, not to mention, draw you cards there's even cards there's multiple cards inside this deck that go to your entire your is it all your opponents yeah you can go to many creatures with a spectacular showdown you can go to many creatures with disrupt decorum i mean you're taking your opponent's creatures multiple times guys i'm telling you this commander deck is insane for a pre-con, guys, I don't think it's gonna be as because it is gold in a one. In a, thank you for liking the video, and in a one v one situation, I don't see how gold is gonna be too effective in one v one, man. Joe, there are two more decks to look at, and the one deck we may not end up looking at because I'm not sure if all the cards have been loaded yet. But um, I will just I'm gonna give this a out of ten. I think when you sit down, if you buy this pre-con, you sit down at a table. It's gonna do, it doesn't, whether if you play against already built decks that your friends are using, you can sit down and play this and the deck is gonna do what it wants to do. And depending on how you manipulate your situation, you have a strong chance of winning the game. So definitely eight out of 10. I don't think it's gonna be like the Obscura Precon where like you can sit down and I was at an LGS today. Oh, the Obscura Operation. If you, I mean, if, if you want a deck that plays to win more games, um, Rero, I would say you'd want to pick up the uh, the obscure operation, but this deck over here, if you want to have fun, I think I would I would pick this one. Personally, between the two, I like to have fun, so I would pick this one just because I think goading is cool. And um, yeah, but if you're a, a new player to Magic, I may tell you to choose a different. Maybe this may not be the best deck for you if you're brand new to Magic. But thank you for the question. But I, I will say that um, 
Eight out of ten. This is fun. Great deck. <laughs>